Delaware Valley's leading news program with Deuces Rogers, meteorologist Cecily Tynan, and Jim Gardner. Thursday night, a Wilmington school administrator is arrested on charges of child pornography and a sinkhole closes a road in King of Prussia for the second time in months. But the big story on Action News tonight is day one of recreational marijuana sales in the state of New Jersey. This was the scene at the Cure Relief Dispensary on Creek Road in Belmar. And as you can see, the line was long as people flocked to outlets to get their first ounce. Action News New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman is live at that location. Trish, what have you seen there today? Coming up on Action News tonight, a 200-year-old Philadelphia institution is laying out a blueprint to rebuild months after floodwaters filled its historic holes. And continuing coverage of the Jay Wright retirement announcement, plus that shot by Joel Embiid that propelled the Sixers to a three-game lead over Toronto in the playoffs, Cecily. Well, Jim, it's been a slow process, but temperatures have been gradually climbing through the week. Today's high of 63, still four degrees below average. We break into the 70s tomorrow, and then we're heading into a bit of a temperature roller coaster ride. I'll explain in the AccuWeather 70 forecast. Those stories and more when Action News continues tonight. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir next on Channel 6. Action News continues at 10 on PHL 17 with Shari Williams, Gray Hall, Adam Joseph and Deuces Rogers. And then please join Rick Williams, Cecily Tynan and Deuces Rogers for Action News at 11 here on Channel 6. For the entire Action News team, I'm Jim Gardner. Please join us at 11. Action News is brought to you by Einstein Healthcare Network, now part of Jefferson Health. Give someone the gift of life. Consider becoming a living kidney donor. Learn more at einstein.edu slash kidney.